Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on the Avoni calendar component for Salesforce Flows. In this tutorial, I will focus on two key interactions. The first one is opening a flow dialog. So I will create a button that when clicked, it will pop up a model box that will open another flow. And now let me show you what I'm going to build today on this video. So here, this is an example of the Avoni calendar I set up using a query data source to fetch all the uh, event from the event object. And what I'd like to do here on this calendar is to put a button action right there to create a new event. And this new button action, new event button action will trigger a flow dialog. And I will create another flow to be able to create a new event directly on the calendar. And I will show you how to set up also the refresh query interaction to make sure that the calendar will automatically refresh with the new updated data. So let's dive into this tutorial. OK, we need to create another flow to be able to capture information to create a new event. And this new data entry will be linked to the Avoni calendar on the other flow. So that's the new flow. I'm going to create. I just added a screen element and let's build this screen flow together. So let's edit the component. I will just add the footer to go to the next screen. And I will just, uh, I will use uh, some of the Avoni components to create my screen flow. So let's say header. Mm, let's say create a meeting. So I'm configuring the header of this flow. Let's say avatar. Right there, let's pick up an icon. OK, let's pull to boundary, left and right, the same top. And let's apply some styling right there on the header component, margin, bottom, large. So to add some extra space, let's get back to the properties panel, is joined, and that's it. OK. So I just created the other component. Now let's drag a section element because on this new, new screen flow, I'd like to capture information about subject and related to. Uh, I'd like to create a new event that would be related, let's say, to an opportunity. So for the subject, I will use the text element. Subject, that's pretty basic. Uh, let's use the Avoni combo box right there for the related to. So related to combo box. Open the component builder. Let's name it related to. Okay. Uh, let's do a query on the data source. We'd like to display the opportunity name right there. Uh, opportunity. OK, that's already fetching information. For the icon name, let's add the opportunity icon. What I like the most about the uh, component builder, it's you can get a preview of the component you're building, which is really great because you can see, oh, maybe I'd like to change the size of the icon or cha change the variant of the icon. Uh, OK, perfect, done. So. I added the header subject, which is a text field, and the combo box. Next, uh, to create a new event, I need to select date time. And for that, I like to use the Avoni date time picker, which is really great, by the way. Uh, date time picker. Open the component builder, and let's configure the date time picker. So I like to use the uh, weekly variant. As you can see, the look and feel is like the Salesforce scheduler. It's exactly the same look and feel. Uh, input, yes. Um, inline, no, no. I prefer input. Uh, I want to really focus on being able to select the time. Uh, visible state date time, let's say, OK, from maybe 9 to 5, so 17. Mm. Mm. OK, so we can adjust the, the settings of the component if we need to. Perfect. And that's pretty much done. I just created the screen flow to create a new event uh, right there, header, subject, combo box, and date time picker. Next, 
let's create a formula text, a formula uh, resource. Why? Because if I'm taking the date time picker right there, basically I'm capturing the information about the start, the start time. I'm not capturing the information about the end time. I know that we are using a 30 minute slot on the meeting, so I need to capture that. And for that, I will create a formula, a variable formula right there, new resource, formula, let's say, and time, date time formula. And for the resource, I will select the date time picker value. And then what I will do, I will just add a formula that says add 30 minutes. So it's add 30 divided by the number of hours in minute. Check syntax, perfect. Okay, so now we will be able to use this formula to fetch the end date time information when I'm creating a new event. So here, let's say, create records, uh, create new event. Uh, okay, on the object it's event. Uh, let's say for the um, subject, let's use the value of the subject element. Now for the um, start date, start date time, let's use the information from the date time picker value. Now for the the end date time, let's select the formula. Okay, and finally we added a combo box of all the opportunities information. So we just do uh, related to the what ID is equal to the value of uh, the related to combo box value. That's that's perfect. That's pretty much done. As you can see, it's a basic flow. Now I can save that flow right there and let's activate the flow. Uh, now we can get back to the calendar component, the original flow I have uh, right there. So let's select the Avoni calendar component, open the component builder. And what I need to do right now, I need first to add a button action. So here on the header, I will say add action, new event. Okay, the button is created, but right now it's not functional. To make the button action functional, I need to go on into action. And I need to define what will happen when users are pressing this new event button. So for example, here on the toolbar, because we are on the toolbar, add toolbar, target name, new event. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to open a flow, open flow dialog, and I'd like to open the flow demo of a new video new event. That's the, um, the flow we just created before to have like a model box to be able to create a new event. Uh, for this use case, I don't need to pass any input variables. That's pretty much gen general. And then that's where it's very useful and powerful. I will define on finish into action. So let's say on finish, I'd like to refresh the calendar with the new updated information. And I also like to notify the user by showing a toast. Let's say event created. Thank you. Variant it success. Okay. So now I can click down and activate this flow to do a live test. Okay. Let's refresh the page. Now I can see the new event button. Let's press this event button. It's launching the flow, which is fine. As you can see, it's clunky. It's not the best. So what I will do before testing the, the flow, I will just go back on the Avonii calendar demo. And what you can do for that, open the component builder and on interaction toolbar, you will set a size and you will select medium. That's all. It's just for the look and feel. So let's refresh this. New event. It's bigger. 
is better. So let's say uh, demo Avoni like to relate it to this uh, opportunity. And let's book for today, Tuesday at 4 p.m. Next. Event is created. The information is updated live here. And I can see the new event created right there. So that's pretty much what I'd like to show you on this video today. It's about the Avoni calendar, how to can, you can set up the interaction on the Avoni calendar to open another flow. And on that other flow, how you can really capture data easily by using the Avoni components or other standard component to capture the data live on Salesforce and also make sure that the, the calendar is refreshing automatically based on the new data you added. So let us know in the comment section below if you have any comments for this video. Thank you so much.